What the heck is that? Hey, this thing's like happy Halloween, everybody. Man, I love this time of year. It's my favorite time of the year. If I could, I'd make it all year round. Shout out to Jen Loves Horror, one of my first subscribers ever. I know Jen, Jen feels the same. Now, this video was recorded by Danny Ramirez 221. He posted it out on TikTok. Come give Danny a follow and a like. Now, what's funny is reading through the comments. There are more than a few people that are like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just a wolf. I hear wolves all the time. Blah, 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 blah. Now, well, think about this. We have not just one semi truck, but at least two sitting there side by side, idling their engines. We have Danny talking. And yet on top of that, all that floor noise, we're still hearing a wolf howl off in the distance somewhere. Yeah, I don't think so. Now, I've developed a science I call Sonic Fingerprints. It's based around spectral analysis software. And I am going to prove to you 100% for sure that whatever it is we're hearing here, it ain't no wolf. Let's go check it out. Starting to regret that I stopped at this restaurant. <laughs> Yeah, Danny, and I'm starting to regret that you spoke over what has to be one of the most incredible, mysterious vocalizations I've ever heard in my life. But I get it. He was freaked out. He was recording it. Now, anytime somebody's experiencing something like this, they're thinking, man, this is going to be a viral video on YouTube or TikTok or whatever. So he was trying to play it up for the crowd. If this ever happens to you, just shut up and record it all and add your commentary later. That being said, I am so thrilled, so, so proud of Danny for recording as much of this as he did. He did, he caught something rare here, something really amazing. So for, for my patrons and YouTube members who, who are new and have never seen any of my sonic fingerprint and spectral analysis video, just real quick, what are we looking at here? Well, this is spectral analysis software. It lets us literally look at sound as if it was a 3D object. And this is every, every little, single little sound that, that Danny recorded that night. And all, all, your, all this black, that is the absence of sound, and all this black and blue and orange speckled stuff. You might need earphones to hear that. That is high pitched, high frequency background noise, like uh, crickets chirping, things like that. And drilling down further, these, these golden, tubes of sound. Those are the howls themselves. And these other bands of it, those are the natural harmonics of that vocalization. And these weird squiggly lines here, that is the unmistakable sonic fingerprint of human speech. Absolutely. I would recognize it in an instant. Nothing on the planet looks exactly like human speech. That's why I call them sonic fingerprints because it is ink easily distinguishable between any other sound in the world. And so here's what I want you to get here. Look, look down at the bottom, very, very bottom. See this orange bar that, that goes throughout. Have a listen. There you can hear it a little better. That is the low frequency rumblings of the diesel engines. And here, here's the main takeaway. So, so we see the diesel engine is kind of a, just an orange color. And then Danny's speech is more intense. It was a hotter signal. So it records as yellow. Now look at this, this white here from the howl. So there was something out there that night, way out in the trees that was able to produce a hotter, more intense signal than the semis that, that Danny was sitting in and next to and his own voice, which was just inches from the recorder. I mean, that's incredible. There is something out there that he recorded that has e immense capabilities with their vocal cords, it, capable of making sounds that travel who knows how far. 
So here's what I've done. I have boosted and enhanced all of the howls here as best I could. And I have cleaned up as much of this, this background noise as I can. It, it's all but impossible to get rid of it all. But what we're going to do next, we're going to look at these, these sonic fingerprints that Danny recorded, these howls, and see if it is a wolf or see if we can find a match for it. Oh, and something else I need to point out real quick. This howl right here is at about, say, 300 and something hertz. And then we have another howl, which is, is either louder or closer, and it's up higher in frequency, up around, I'll say, around 560 hertz. So there was a conversation going on here and we can see it throughout. There is the low pitch call and it's answer. So there was two of whatever it was out there that night. All right. So here we go. We're going to wrap up on this. This is the big comparison between two different sonic fingerprints. One unknown, the second unknown completely. Have a listen. Obviously, two wolves howling. Now look at the wolves' sonic fingerprint. Look at how these tubes of sound meander up and down, and they, they maybe start low, and then they ramp up in pitch, and then they... They end going down, all right? Now compare that. Let's hear it one more time. To our mystery how recorded by Danny. Now, one reason they might sound similar is that they're on the very same or, or, or almost identical frequencies, all right? So the, the wolves, and the mystery creatures are playing a similar note, if you will. But that's where the similarity stops. So for everybody who still insists that is a wolf, you're now going to have to provide proof of some new breed of wolf out there with new, upgraded, enhanced, elevated vocal cords that, that don't vary in pitch whatsoever. You know, we'll be waiting, but, but you will never find that proof because it just simply doesn't exist. So I am showing you two entirely different sonic fingerprints. I, I see wolf howls and I instantly recognize them. There's nothing else, not even coyotes, not even dogs that looks like a wolf howl. So I can tell you as an expert on, on studying sounds in spectral analysis software, I can tell you that this out here on the end, 100% is not a wolf and is not a human and does not match any known species on the planet. Now, the last thought on this, while there is no other known species on the planet that matches this, use your eyes. I have these other vocalizations here. Look at them. All bored straight in nature. Now let's have a listen to them. On the far left is our, our uh, the mystery how Danny recorded. So here we go. I'm going to just let you hear them all. That's all I've got. Special thanks as always to my patrons and my YouTube members. 
your monthly support makes all, all my research, all the time that I spend making those videos possible. All right, everybody, sleep tight. Happy Halloween again. And by the way, those of you that, that have a, a dog or cat or pet in the room, ma ma make sure they hear these sounds. We're, we're going to go out listening one more time. All right, everybody, take care. <laughs>